We're doing our Asian Peas, what's this called? Asian Peas World Showcase Adventure here in France. We're actually at our second mission and it has told us to come to Les Vins de France. Les Vins de France? Les Vins de France? Les Vins de France. Les Vins de France. Um, so, Les Vins de France. And it's told us to come to this window and we're going to have to answer a question. So it says, look at the books in the window. What is the title? Light blue book on the bottom shelf. It's this one well, here, right? Les Vins Naturels Les Vins Naturels France. France. Actually, France. That one. Les Vins Naturels de France. Right, activating remote scanner. Scanner activated, look at the books in the case. Ooh, hair sample detected. Oh, sorry, I moved the camera over. Move away from the bookcase and press OK or do it again if you miss the remote scanner. So we just saved France in Asian Peas World Showcase Adventure and we're going to go and do a different one in a bit, maybe Mexico. We've got Frozen for a Frozen Ever After Fast Pass that's starting soon. But as we walk over to Norway, we're going to pop into Les, Les, Artisans, Les Artisans de Glaces to pick up a macaroon ice cream sandwich, which apparently everybody loves. So let's have a look. The Artisan La Glace. That makes more sense. Anyway, this is my macaroon ice cream sandwich. And this is Steven's, he got chocolate. I got strawberries and cream. Are you ready? I'm gonna like shove my face in it. <laughs> so veggie when I'm eating. Um, oh my God, yeah. Oh yeah, that is good. And the macaron's amazing, but you'd imagine it to be because we got it in France. And um, the ice cream is kind of sorbet, actually. It's not as rich as um, I normally, well, as rich as strawberry ice cream normally is. I'm not a massive fan of strawberry ice cream. Really like strawberry sorbet. That's really, really good. It might be sorbet, actually. Mm. Yeah, I think it's strawberry sorbet. And then you've got some vanilla ice cream in there, which I didn't manage to get a bite of yet, but I'll have a bite of it in a second. So, yeah, thumbs up for the, um, well, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking the macaron ice cream. Is your chocolate one good? <laughs> Delicious. Right, awesome. Okay, let's walk on over to Norway. Oh, guys. Oh, there, here they go. You can hear the taiko drumming. I absolutely love taiko. Um, I saw a lot of taiko drumming when I was living in Japan during Matsuri, so during Japanese festivals around temples and stuff, they would always have taiko drumming. We actually just had a photo pass in um, in China and didn't go in China. We just had a picture outside of it. But we're back in Norway for one reason and one reason only: the cafe. No, we're not. Um, we are back for Frozen Ever After. It's our tier one fast pass for today. It's our tier one for every day that we are coming to Epcot. Um, and I'm super excited to do it again. Not going to film it this time. Didn't film it the first time. Filmed it some of it the second time. This time I'm going to enjoy it. Take it all in. <laughs> Awesome, and I was I was playing I was paying real attention this time because I wasn't trying to just make sure that the camera is okay too. I always hold the camera about here, like out. So um, I, you know, I, I'm always watching the ride, but this time I, uh, my whole attention was on it, and it was so amazing. When we get to spoiler alert, when we get to the bit where Elsa sings "Let It Go," I got chills all the way down my arm. It was amazing. Donald just uh, just appeared right underneath where we were standing. The big caballeros, the big caballeros, that's all I remember.
close, we are always together. I was so cute. I love it. You get to see a whole load of different places in Mexico. Um, lots of different scenes from around the country, different music, different um, outfits and such. It was really cool. And Donald's really mischievous, which is really awesome. I'm going to be a little mischievous now, and I'm going to pop over to the tequila place and get me a little drink. So I got a blood orange margarita from the tequila place here. That place is like a bar bar. It's like, it actually feels very, very authentic. It made me feel, you know, lots of the restaurants here make you feel very friendly and that kind of made me feel a little bit like oh should I really be here um, it's really really good but they are a little bit expensive this was $13.60 um, but it does taste delicious but I should take my time on it because it seems like it's a little bit strong the skies have decided they want to be a little bit rainy again so we popped into Reflections of China this is actually the last experience that we have over the world showcase so we've done um, the three caballeros ride we've done impressions to France we've uh, done um, O Canada and I think this is the last experience that we have uh, there's a few restaurants and other things that we want to visit in some of the other pavilions but um, this is the last movie slash you know ride that we we need to do so it should be pretty cool I really really enjoyed O Canada the 360 degree theater is really good fun actually although I seem to be the only one turning a lot but just before it starts I'll show you here you can see the screens behind me like all the way around there you go whoa I'm dizzy now um, that was so cool I want to go to China <laughs> I wanted to go to Canada before I want to go to China now. Um, I want to go both, really. That was so awesome. Lots of shots of Chinese scenery, the beautiful Yangtze River, loads of other rivers throughout China, some cities I've been to. It was funny though because it's a little dated, so they showed some scenes of Shanghai and they showed the skyline in Shanghai, but there's a few rather prominent buildings that weren't there in the movie, which I know are definitely there now. Um, so that was kind of funny. But it, yeah, it's such a beautiful country. They shot the food, shot the people, shot the new art, uh, shots of new architecture. Yeah, really, really cool. We've ended up in the shop. Shop. I think we'll have a quick look around and then we're gonna hop on over to Germany, which is actually next to China, so that, to get some caramel kush, caramel kush popcorn, because that is one of the not to miss snacks on the Disney food vlog. So I ain't gonna miss it. These are so amazing. You press this rock button, where is the rock button there? And then they will talk. There you go. There's a pig drinking a bottle of beer. I mean, I may have found my sister from another mister. We kind of look the same as well. Oh, look at that caramel apple. That's amazing. Well, oh, this caramel apple, hello. Uh, anything good? Oh, apparently these are good, dark chocolate. Oh, but you don't like sea salt. There's a caramel milk chocolate normal thing. Oh, there we go. Small caramel popcorn, large caramel popcorn. Just get a small one. Just get a large one. Okay, so we got the popcorn. And it is... Uh, it is Werther's Original, which is weird. Because Werther's Original, I thought was a British thing. Didn't you think that was a British so, thing? Yeah. So that's really strange, but it is that kind of caramel. Anyway, we're going to try it. Okay, yeah, it's good. Do you like it? It tastes like really, really good quality toffee popcorn. Yep. I guess it's a little maltier. Which what gives it, I don't know, like the edge, I guess. Oh, I'm glad we got a large pack. <laughs> Just a hint for everyone, the large pack is on the Disney Dining Plan as a snack for it. Do you want your bang for your buck? Get over to Caramel Crush and get yourself a large bag of popcorn. Oh, yeah, that's good. This is a super cute model railway. I wish I could own one of these. Why are they singing the Cornetto song? <laughs> no, I was like... Oh, I have no idea where the little train is, but the river's flowing pretty nicely. Shocking, given the weather. After nomming all the popcorn in the German pavilion, in which there is now none left, uh, we are on our way through Italy, across to the United States, to complete our passport. It's the last thing we have to get is the USA. And then we're going to go over to Japan and indulge in some old classic favorite foods from when we were living slash visiting Japan. Are you probably going to have a ramen or something? 
I don't know. I should, I'm ready to investigate now. I am going to have a curry. Japanese curry is my favorite. So we're here at the American Pavilion and we did it! We got a complete passport, all the countries, all done. I'll take you guys through it another time, but yay. So thank you Epcot for the passport. It was, well, not thank you. I mean, I paid for it, but I mean, we, <laughs> we did it. Thank you for giving me the opportunity thank to buy, it. Me the opportunity to buy it. it. was fun actually. I, I found that really, really cool. Um, and we got a little bit from each country in a bunch of different languages. Uh, the only duplicate language is English, right? Because the USA and the UK. So cool. And Ca oh, and Canada. And Canada actually had some French in it too. Oh, Canada did have some French in it too. That's true. That is true. Hey, so we popped into Katsura Grill in Japan Pavilion. The walk up to this restaurant is so beautiful. My battery died, so I just changed batteries. So I'm sorry I didn't show it. I'll show it on the way out. But it's a beautiful walk, and it reminded me a lot of going up to some of the um, tea houses and some of the gardens in different Japanese gardens or different Japanese temples that we used to visit. I have gone for the obvious, which is the chicken cutlet curry. I'll just show you. We used a quick service dining credit to get this meal. We actually switched our dessert for a side. We both got miso soup. I think they've got edamame and something else on the side as well. So this is the restaurant just here. And this is the path that goes up to the restaurant. It's beautiful around here, like a Japanese garden. You can see pagoda up, in, uh, up on the left-hand side. Beautiful little lanterns. Nice little garden. Yeah, it's really cool. So yeah, I do think that Japan is my favorite pavilion. Squizzle's all over the place. Hello, Mr. Squizzle. <laughs> you don't. I'm waiting for it to leap up at you. It's not gonna leap up at me, it's my friend. I asked Stephen what his favorite pavilion was and he said the duck pavilion. And then I turned around and we saw these feathered friends. That's Hello, friends. I do not know where Donald is, I'm sorry. So there's an art of Disney store just before the exit of Epcot and they have some cool stuff and I want to buy it all. <laughs> and I don't have enough money to do that. There's Rapunzel in the cute Disney princess line. She's $75 and I want her. Steven, you can get Mulan. And I could get Rapunzel and you could get Mulan and I could get Rapunzel. That is cool. One of these weird window box things. But I like it. Dear bank manager, can I have £4,700 for this Alice artwork? Love, Natasha. That bird is gonna get it. <laughs> Steven said the next frame is just that bird is gonna be on fire. <laughs> like instant. <laughs> <laughs> they really like Maleficent in this gallery. I have no complaints. That is actually really awesome. Oh, look at all of the enemies. Oh, no, the bottom one's the best. Oh my god, the bottom the one shopping. is the best. Ha ha ha. We're gonna say goodbye to Epcot for today. We're gonna hop on over to the Magic Kingdom to get all sorts of the Magic Kingdom cards. You can see from all the ponchos here that it's getting pretty wet again. So this might be bye. Might be a bad idea, but um, we're gonna do it anyway. Hey, we're here. We're in for the ride. Disco, that's the monorail. I know. Monorail. I, <laughs> I, I can take this umbrella away. You know. No, please don't. My camera is here. <laughs> Splash me in the eye. I didn't splash you in the eye. Well, How there. would I have directed the raindrop towards your eye? I know, your camera. <laughs> camera. How dare you. Main Street is on Grant and Brooklyn. Sorry, Mom. The mob is broken. You have to take two monorails to get to Magic Kingdom from Epcot. You have to take this one to the Dickinson Transportation Centre, and then from there we take a monorail to the Magic Kingdom. Um, that's all the information I had. Now we're just enjoying the sights, sounds, and the ice bucketness, which is the one around. Really cool. <laughs> There's Halloween stuff up. You can see sort of the pumpkins over here. There was pumpkins at the entrance. There are, what are those things? Well, I said they're Jack pumpkin head things, I guess. But yeah, there's pumpkins everywhere. Looks like they've already begun setting up for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which is in a couple of nights time. Oh my God, I hope the rain is done by then. Um, otherwise I'm gonna electrocute myself. <laughs> <laughs> my outfit might have electronics. Um, Right, we're gonna pop into Sources of Magic oh, the Kingdom. <gasps> no! 
the bad news everyone, Indus Light Sources and Magic Kingdom is actually closed tonight, which means we can't get our car packed for this evening, that's so cruddy. Um, we're actually going to pop into guest relations and find out what happened because we were here really late the other day and the Sorcerer's um, was open, so it seems odd that it would be closed. It's, eight, it's, it's 20 past 8 in the evening tonight and this park is supposed to stay open until 9 um, and then it's actually got extra magic hours all the way up until 11, so you think you'd be able to pick up your cards at least until when the park is supposed to be closing. So we're going to ask for guest relations. I don't think we're going to be lucky, but you know, we can always try. Otherwise, do you think it might be time to say goodnight? So I guess it's cool. We got to see uh, some of the first bits of decorations for Halloween. We're going to be here in a few more, in a, in a couple of nights time for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So I guess from tonight, from a very rainy Magic Kingdom and sad places with no sort of Magic Kingdom cards, but we did have a really, really awesome day in Epcot. Um, we're going to say goodbye, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow back in Hollywood Studios. See you. Bye. Uh, sorry, we did say that we were going, but hold the phone. We want to say a massive thank you to Lucas from Guest Services, who even though Source of the Magic Kingdom is closed for this evening, he gave us two packs of Source of the Two packs of Sorcerer's and Magic Kingdom cards. I don't know why they closed. We didn't actually ask. We suspect it maybe because the rain was too heavy and it's it's not it's not an open air thing, but it's quite an open what do you call it? Like an open room. Yeah. So we suspect that that was why it's closed. But he just gave us two packets. So thank you so much, Lucas. Now we're gonna say goodbye from a rainy Magic Kingdom with pumpkins. We'll see you all tomorrow, at Hollywood Studios, and probably we'll pop back here to get more Sorcerer's and Magic Kingdom cards. Hopefully, the weather will be a little bit better. Okay, see you all tomorrow. Bye! How do we steal the ATAP? I don't think you can. What's wrong with the hyperdrive motivator? Well, fix it. You are not hearing the sound of the Sorcerer's and Magic Kingdom cards. And it is amazing. This is what it looks like. It actually looks like dessert. It tastes like dessert. 